A Union Which Will Last Forever by John Macduff My beloved is mine, and I am his. Song of Songs 2.14 This is the language of the Christian in the Book of Canticles. How great is the blessedness involved in such an assurance. My beloved Jesus is mine, in the dignity of his person, in the suitability of his offices, in the immensity of his love, in the efficacy of his atonement, in the riches of his abounding grace. His righteousness is mine to justify me, his spirit is mine to sanctify me, his power is mine to defend me, his wisdom is mine to guide me, and his heaven is mine to receive me. And what does Christ say to the believer in return? I am yours, and all that I have is yours. I have boundless and unsearchable riches, and those riches are for you. I have happiness to bestow, such as the mind in its largest grasp has never been able to conceive, and that happiness is for you. I have crowns and scepters at my disposal, and all those honours are for you. Yes, to him who overcomes, I will grant to sit with me on my glorious throne. The Christian's exaltation and bliss is not a matter of doubtful disputation. And what makes it so certain? It is the blessed truth that the union which exists between him and Christ is an indissoluble union. All other relations, however close and endearing, must be broken. That union of husband and wife and soul and body has no power to resist the assault of death, the great destroyer. All earthly ties must then be severed, but death, which breaks every other bond, only strengthens the bond between the Christian and Christ. Death, which quenches every other love, only kindles that of the believer for Jesus into a purer and intenser flame. Death, which snatches every other object from our grasp, only brings us to the full enjoyment of him, who is the fountain of life, the great centre and source of all blessedness. Christian, rejoice in your union with Jesus. The changes of time cannot touch it. The storms of life cannot injure it. The sword of persecution cannot sever it. The damps of death cannot affect it. The malice of hell cannot move it. It is a union which will last for ever. It follows, therefore, that you, if a partaker of it, will be rich for ever, safe for ever, dignified for ever, and blessed for ever.